Tonight, a medical mystery that has left a Connecticut family baffled and heartbroken. After a long history of medical problems, a West Hartford teenager is now trapped inside a hospital with no way out. Fox Connecticut's Bo Berman spent the past several months looking into this emotional nine-month-old custody battle. Last December, Justina Pelletier was an active 15-year-old girl, skating, Justina laughing, spending time with her family. But just two months later, a nightmare. Look what I got. Your three favorite photos. Like I said, it's, it's beyond any wildest nightmare that you could think of. It's the most bizarre situation I've ever sort of been involved with. Justina was diagnosed with mitochondrial disease a few years ago. It's a genetic disorder that can cause loss of muscle coordination and weakness. Despite that diagnosis, she lived a normal life. But last February, she also got the flu and was admitted to Boston Children's Hospital to see her specialist. Almost immediately, a different team of doctors delivered a different diagnosis, questioning the original diagnosis of mitochondrial disease. They came in and they said, we cannot take Justina out of the hospital. They called DCF. They said Justina had somatoform disorder. In short, they were saying she suffered from a mental illness, not mitochondrial disease. Her parents, Lou and Linda Pelletier, were escorted out of the hospital by security. And within four days, they had lost custody of Justina. It is kidnapping. Back in Connecticut, Dean Hokinson has been Justina's psychologist for the past five years. They were actually being accused of being too active in pursuing healthcare matters for their child. Boston Children's Hospital refused to comment about the case to Fox, Connecticut, but these internal discharge documents provide insight into why the hospital called DCF. This April report by a Boston Children's physician shows that the hospital pulled Justina off many of her prior medications when admitted. Due to concerns regarding Justina's regressive behavior changes around her family, the multiple medical procedures and care episodes she has been through, and both parents' resistance towards recommended treatment plans for Justina, a child protection team was convened. Before entering Boston Children's, Justina was on several medications and had undergone complex surgeries. The Pelletiers say Boston Children's accused them of over-medicalizing their daughter. But the family showed us proof that every procedure and prescription was sanctioned by doctors, including Tufts Medical Center specialist, Dr. Mark Corson. Tufts wouldn't let Corson talk to us, but the Pelletiers did provide us this email that Corson sent to their attorney referring to Boston Children's. I am dismayed. It feels like Justina's treatment team is out to prove the diagnosis at all costs. The team has demanded that Justina be removed from the home. This represents the most severe and intrusive intervention a patient can undergo for a clinical hunch. Dr. Amel Kara, who works at Mass General Hospital, says conditions like mitochondrial disorder commonly lead to confusion for healthcare providers. A lot of social cases have been reported where the, the children were taken away from their parents uh, by social services and the hospital because the uh, medical team thought that the parents were causing this to their child. This in her artwork. Now, nine months later, Justina is still in the hospital sneaking messages to her parents, hidden inside origami artwork. And I know you trust in me. Don't forget it. I love you more than everything in the whole world, Justina. DCF allows Justina's parents just one hour-long visit per week. Now the Pelletiers are left fighting DCF in court, hoping to regain custody of their daughter and watch her skate once again. Hospitals, be it just in this scenario, but in big picture, cannot just hide behind DCF to do their dirty work. Bo Berman, Fox, Connecticut. Since our initial investigation, the judge has issued a gag order in the case. Yeah, the Pelletier's next court date is December 5th. December 14th will mark 10 months since they've had custody of Justina.